Hello, my friends. Uh, during this uh, special training, I'm going to share with uh, all of you 10 secrets to becoming a top earner fast in network marketing. And uh, I'm going to wait another minute for folks to get here for registering for this special training. We uh, gave everybody an opportunity to get a free copy of our universal profile checklist. And uh, we're still in the process of updating parts of it. I can't believe all of the changes that were made after we put it out there about uh, a week ago. And uh, some of these changes are really significant. That being said, most people don't realize when they log into or create a, a page on Facebook or LinkedIn, they're not visible. So my gift to all of you is the profile checklist. We've also added it as one of the components to everybody that participates in boot camp. Okay, I got that out of the way. Now let's talk about what we're really here to talk about. 10 secrets to becoming a top earner in your business, and we want to do it fast. Now, have you ever wondered how some people get into your business and immediately become top earners? Now, the company, uh, when they were doing events, they used to bring them up on stage. We want you to meet Bill. Bill just reached the diamond rank and uh, he did it in 60 days. And you're sitting there scratching your head, wondering, how did he do it? How did this guy go all the way to diamond, if that's the, if that's the, um, the rank, so quickly? How did he do it? Have you ever wondered how some people without any experience in network marketing rise to the top of the company so fast? And the thing is that nobody will tell you. Now, I had been in network marketing for three years. My first year, I did it the traditional way. Okay, I ran ads in newspapers. I, I networked happy hour at uh, two upscale palm uh, bars in Palm Beach. I did meetings. I did it all. Spent more money than I made, but I had a group. Second year, I go on the internet. And now, I'm not spending any money on advertising. I'm not spending on meetings. I'm finally starting to make money, and I have access to better people. At the end of my second year, I'm on the internet between Christmas and New Year's Eve. I recruited five people a day, four days in a row. How did I do it? I used the strategy that anybody that invests in a business before the end of the year gets to write that investment off their taxes to get into our business at the time was $500. If I had somebody that said, I want to get into your business, but I want to get in in January, I would tell them, I said, I'm going to be happy to work with you in January. But I just have to tell you this because you'd be mad at me if I tell you this in January. Sign up in the business in December. When you file your taxes before April next year, write it off. You invested in a new business. 20 people. 14 of them were people that I had been communicating with on a regular basis, some going all the way back to February or March, established a relationship with them, and finally they decided to get into the business. Six of them were people that I connected with and met in December. And then in January, I go to a company event, and they brought someone up on stage who in three weeks, actually it was two and a half weeks, brought 250 people into the business. 
I was numb. Numb. I went up to the CEO of the company. I said, how the hell did he do that? Was that supposed to be motivating? Well, nobody would tell me. So I stalked this guy over the next two and a half days, caught, caught him in a bar in the hotel one night, bought him a couple of drinks, and I got his story. And the truth is that he had been in the business for 10 years. And in 10 years, he'd been in four companies. And every time he went from company A to company B, from company B to company C, from company C to company D, he brought people with him from his other companies. And once I knew that, I went back to my team. We did a teleconference and I said, listen, I didn't know that the network marketing industry was so big. I had no clue. I knew all about my company, but I didn't know about the industry. And I said, I, there are a lot of unhappy network marketers out there. Let's go find some. And in the next 18 months, my business would grow from a few hundred distributors to close to 7,000. And then our company was absorbed by another company, and for all intents and purposes, I mean, everybody started to leave. So let's talk about this. There are 10 secrets about network marketing that the top earners in your business know, but they never talk about them. And when you know what they are and how to apply them to your daily business building activity, you will rise to the top of your business faster. And that is, hey, companies go in, they go out of business. The fastest way for you to become a top earner in your business is to talk to an unhappy professional network marketing leader with a large team. Bring them into your business and help them bring in members of their team. All right? So let's go over these 10 secrets. Every month, 200 network marketing companies close or make unpopular changes. Two, every month, 300 new companies are launched and 93% of them are going to fail within two, five years. Three, network marketing companies recruit top earners whales from other companies. Four, successful networkers will leave a good company and move to another company. Five, successful network marketers will leave a failing company and move to another company. Why would a successful network marketer leave a good company and move to another one? We gotta understand why they'd leave a failing company. More about that in a minute. 85% of the top earners in the company have been in more than one company during their career. Seven, people usually make more money in their second or third business than they did in their first. Eight, when you bring in a top earner, a whale, bring them into your business, your business grows much faster because they bring people with them. Nine, help is available to anyone to recruit a top earner. And 10, anyone, anyone at any level, any level, in a business can recruit a whale. Okay? Anyone. So, let's talk about the first one. 200 companies, more than 200 companies, at close or make unpopular changes that cause leaders and their teams to leave and join other companies. Last year in March, Javita been around for a number of years, abandoned the network marketing model. They said, hey, we're going to sell our stuff on the internet. Univera, October of last year, abandoned network marketing. They've got their distributors, built their organization. They've got all these customers. And by abandoning the network marketing model, they saved paying the distributors commissions. Advocare in May of 2019, terminated 100,000 distributors. They left network marketing. We found out a few months later that they were under investigation by the Federal Trade Commission. 
ended up changing a great deal. And in October of 2019, they were fined $150 million. Things happen. Change in the compensation plan will drive leaders out of the business. Product change. Company leaves a market. Management or leadership change. A company merges with another company. That's what happened to me. Company goes out of business. And here are several reasons why a company will close. The owners will shut it down without notice. They run out of money. There was a company called Ideal Health. It was started by three million dollar earners in new skin they started the company it was a vitamin company you'd send a urine sample into the company the company would analyze it come back and tell you uh the vitamins you needed and they would customize them after about two and a half years they licensed donald trump's name donald trump's first experience with network marketing was a company called acn he rented his name he was their spokesperson for a year or two, there's actually a couple of uh, videos on YouTube where Donald Trump speaks very highly of network marketing. Anyway, the guys at Ideal Health licensed Donald's name. They recruited a bunch of top earners from other companies. We'll talk about that That's another bullet point. And uh, they ran it for a while they called the company the trump network and then in september of 2015 or 2014 they ran out of money they couldn't pay their distributors couldn't pay their leaders they told their leaders they were getting some financing it never happened and people quietly jumped other companies company with a bankruptcy no there's a big company that's in bankruptcy now and their distributors are all jumping into other businesses by acquisition with another company by stopping production of their products by pulling out of a country by the federal trade commission very active in keeping companies honest and uh, i think it was 2016 Federal Trade Commission <clears throat> went after a company called Vima, investigated them, shut them down for six weeks. They were never able to recover. By the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, questioning the composition of products. By the Securities and Exchange Commission, all based on the comp plan. By a government agency with a cease and desist order or by any state attorney general with a restraining order. A few years back, there was a company called YTB, Your Travel Business. The Attorney General at the time was Jerry Brown. He was running for, he was planning on running for governor. So he went after the company, got a lot of publicity. That restraining order in California rippled over the, to, to Illinois. The company was never able to recover. They tried to offer health and wellness products, but bottom line, at the end of the day, never able to recover. Travel businesses are very hard to sustain. Companies acquired by another company. Zango was acquired by Zija. They acquired actually in 2017, Zango, Kivana, and Emzigol. I was at the company's uh, Zeej's uh, uh, two big events, and uh, it was old home week. Ran into all of my friends from Zango and Kivana that I'd been training for years. And then in uh, 2019, Isagenics absorbed Zeej. Longevity absorbs Bella Vita, Sorvana, Rico Life, Free Life. I was working with a number of the leaders in um, Free Life, and they were shocked. Now they're part of Longevity. Same thing with Jeunesse taking over Mona V. 
the top earners in Jeunesse that I was working with were all excited because the company had announced that they're expanding to South America. They're expanding to places in Europe. And everybody was excited. I was showing them how they could network using LinkedIn, using Facebook. And then before they expanded, when they made the announcement, they also announced, hey, by the way, we're absorbing Mona V and Mona V distributors were already in those countries. New Ways evolved into Modair and the People's Network, my company. It was a satellite personal development TV 24-hour day channel. Was absorbed and became part of prepaid legal. Hey, I signed up to promote positive TV, not a legal service. But I would have given it a go. The owner of our company introduced me to the founder of uh, prepaid, Harlan Stonecipher, and he says, Harlan, this guy has figured out the internet. So I went to Ada, Oklahoma, and showed him what I was teaching everybody. And they just flat out came back and said, well, you know, we're really not interested in the internet right now. We're a little nervous about fraud. We're a little nervous about chargebacks. Well, I trained uh, hundreds, probably even thousands of prepaid legal people back then. Prepaid legal became Legal Shield. When they were prepaid legal, it was a public company. Legal Shield is a private company. Number two, every month, 300 new companies are launched and 92% of them are going to fail within five years, according to the Direct Sales Association. So when companies are launched, the general perception out there, especially in the network marketing industry, is the people who get into companies early, the first ones in are the ones that make the most money. That's not exactly true. See, when a company is launched, all right, they've got a plan, business plan. They've got a compensation plan that's all worked out, all figured out. And then they get in there, and six months they realize, well, wait a minute, the compensation plan, whoa, we can't do this. We can't keep going. And they end up changing the comp plan. And when that happens, uh, you know, it, it uh, changes everything and, and leaders will leave. Hey, the deal, it's not the same deal. 92% startup companies, according to the Direct Sales Association, it's like the Better Business Bureau for network marketing, will fail within five years. Three, network marketing companies recruit top earners, often called whales, from other companies. A startup looking to get off with a bang will approach a top earner in a company, offer them a, a deal, a package. Uh, one of my good friends that introduced me to his company was a startup, um, built the business, got it up to a certain part, and then the owners of the company changed the deal on them. And, you know, he walked away. The company was out of business six months later. I look at recruiting as fishing. Find the right body of water, the right lure, and you catch the right fish. All of you are recruiters. The... Uh, fishing phrase that I love is the charm of fishing it's the pursuit of something that's elusive the fish but attainable it's a perpetual series of occasions for hope because every time you throw that bait in the water you have you're hoping for the big fish and so network marketing companies, startups, as well as existing companies, will recruit leaders from other companies. They will make deals with leaders. And a lot of companies will say, well, we don't make deals. We don't buy leaders. And there's all kinds of ways 
that they can make a deal without necessarily buying leadership, but they do. They make deals, okay? And any company that, you know, and if they tell you they don't, well, they're not being truthful. So companies are literally, I mean, they, they are searching uh, the databases. They are looking for unhappy network marketers. They're looking for successful network marketers. Four, successful networkers will leave a good company and move to another one. Well, why would a successful network marketer that's making money leave and go to another company? There's a lot of action behind the scenes that we're not aware of. Depends on the comp plan. Example, company has a what they call a breakaway program. At a certain point in time, a large portion of an organization will break away. So if the leader's been working with a company for years, and then one day, the worst thing happens. Somebody below them generating 40% of the business, 50% of the business, breaks away. Well, they're supposed to just roll up your sleeves, work harder, and you know, build it up again, build it up again. And sometimes it's easier for a leader to leave that company, go to another company, start fresh, and then invite all of the people that he knows from the past and bring those people over. It happens. It happens. You can leave, uh, you can go to sleep on a Friday and you've got, let's say, $40,000 worth of volume on the table in your left leg and you wake up on Monday and you go in and you find out that one of the leaders left and took 80% of the people with them. Successful networkers will leave a failing company and they'll move to another. They're not being paid. The compensation plan changes. People are relying on their bonuses. They're relying on their income. 85% of the top earners in a company have been in more than one company during their career. Anytime you have an opportunity to talk to some of the top earners in your business, ask them. What, you know, what did you do before you got into network marketing? What other companies were you in? When a top earner leaves one company and goes to another one, they bring people with them from their former company. Winning the network marketing game can be like playing musical chairs. Now, these are things, when you know these things and you apply them to your business building activity, you can actually build your business quicker. You can tap into this huge market. Seven, people usually make more money in their second or third MLM than they did in their first. Why? Because their circle of influence is bigger than when they first got into network marketing. Everybody in the company that they were in is now a part of their war market. They know people in the companies that they were in. Now, if the company goes out of business, then there's nothing to restrain them from reaching out to anybody at all the other leaders in their company, bring them over or tell them, hey, I found another company, great products, great compensation plan. Got to take a look at this. Let's all go over Let's bring all of our people over. And leaders are looking out for their people. You know, they've got team members that are counting on that $500 a month, $500 a week that they're earning. Company goes out of business, they've lost it. They got to replace it. Let's keep our team together. Let's all go over to this new company. And now you have the opportunity to bring other teams and other leaders. Now, if you leave a company of your own volition, okay, the company's still in existence, and the company hasn't broken an agreement, in other words, 
there is grounds if the company changes the comp plan or they change the rules, you can make the argument that um, they broke our agreement. However, when you read the fine print, that doesn't hold up in court. And companies have been known to go after leaders and get injunctions uh, restraining orders, forcing them to stop. It's an interesting situation, but the bottom line is they make more money in their second or their third than they did in their first. Now, when you bring in a top earner, a whale, your business grows faster. And you want to talk about timing. I've got a, really a phenomenal example of how this process works. Francisco, I've known him for over 20 years. He uh, was a student back in the AOL days when he was in prepaid legal. He was a kid, 19 years old. Well, he gets back into network marketing last year and he connects with two whales in a company. Together, they were making over a million dollars. They were unhappy. They're unhappy. So he showed them his company, brought them over. Well, why did they join him in his business? Because he knows how to use social media, specifically LinkedIn, to build a business. And actually, when he showed him, those, those, these two guys, how they could go on LinkedIn and build the business, they were wild. They joined him. In November, he's in, he brings in two whales. And then in December, the two whales he enrolled in November brought in members of your team and they brought in three other whales who are bringing members of their teams in. So just like the basic premise for network marketing is you bring somebody into your business and then they reach out and bring in their connections, their friends. Whales, no whales. So he goes from two whales in November to five whales in December. And everybody is excited. Everybody is growing because they're using my scripts, they're using my strategies, not only to bring in their initial market, people that they know, people that they're already connected to, which is huge. But now they also have the opportunity to bring in people that they don't know, specifically off of LinkedIn. November, two whales. December, five whales. Then he reached out to me in March. I now have 10 whales in my business. Everybody's excited. Everybody's bringing in their team members. And they're all reaching out to other whales that they know. These strategies and scripts, for those of you that are students, that you're learning this, it helps everybody. Their businesses are growing faster than they ever imagined possible. But more important, it gave Francisco the confidence to talk to any unhappy top-earning network marketer, position himself as a leader that they want to work with. And... I encourage you, if you haven't registered for my two-day top earner retreat on Friday and Saturday, uh, I'm going to give you a link. I'll put it in the chat window. Register because it's going to be a life-changing, business-changing event. For those of you that were in a previous retreat, they're all different. In this one, we're going to talk about a company that's in bankruptcy, World Ventures, and uh, the ripple effect of that is huge. His business is on fire because he can talk to any leader. When you come out of our retreat this weekend, I don't care if you're just getting started in a business, you're going to have the confidence to be able to talk to anybody. Well, that was in March. I didn't hear from him for two months. I heard from him 
uh, I think it was Monday. Haven't talked in two months because he's never been so busy. His group of 10 whales has now grown to 16 whales. Okay? Now, did he bring over those whales? A couple of them he did. But the whales that came into the business brought whales in. But he played an instrumental role because of his knowledge about how to build the business on LinkedIn. All of my leaders and their teams can't get over how effective your strategies and scripts have been. Everyone's amazed at how quickly people are responding to the messages. Hasn't changed since the AOL days. Only now we got more people to talk to and we know much more about them and all my leaders love me. Love him. Thanks to me. My closing ratio when I talk to an unhappy network marketing leader has increased and my confidence level is now off the charts. All of you are heading down the same road. You're learning a dance. You're learning a process. Francisco learned it 20 years ago. 20 years ago. They didn't have pictures. You had a 600 character profile. But back then when I was teaching it, people were making millions of dollars. It's easier. More people and it's faster. Number nine, help is available to anyone to recruit a top earner or a whale. Let me first say that unless you're a leader that's already making six figures, you're going to need help. You're not going to bring a top earner into your business without help. Either a leader and a top earner in your upline to talk to the other leader. And, or it's going to be someone from corporate. Now, the first big top earner that I brought into the business, I didn't connect with him. Okay? One of my people connected with someone that was in a company. He was an area coordinator. Company changed their comp plan. He wasn't happy. So he came into our business. And when I was talking to him on the telephone, I said, you know, um, if you're not happy, I'm sure there are probably other people in the company that aren't happy. They said, nobody's happy. They told us they were going to change the comp plan. They were going to reduce the price, but it wouldn't affect us because we'd be doing more business because the price was lower. Nope, didn't happen. He went from getting a $2,000 a month check to 700. He wasn't happy. Jumped into the business. So because I was the upline, I said to him, I says, Roger, listen, if you're not happy, there are a lot of people in your company that are unhappy, so why don't you give me the name and contact information from your most successful upline? And I'm going to call him, and if I bring him into the business, he's going in under you. And Roger was a little nervous about that. He said, hey, listen, I'm still getting $700 from the company. I said, Roger, I'm never going to mention your name. Not until they sign up. So I called the guy. And when you call somebody that you don't know, there's a protocol. When they answer the phone, don't jump into your presentation. Introduce yourself and ask them if this is a good time to talk. So... Terry picks up the telephone and says, Terry, my name is Max Steingart. I'm a leader in another network marketing company. Leader in another network marketing company. I had 400 people in my team, but I'm still a leader. If you have five people on your team, you're a leader. Do you want to be a leader? Start thinking of yourself as a leader. You're all leaders. You're all at different stages of building your business, but you're all leaders. Do what leaders do, and you will become a leader. So I said, uh, did I catch, you know, uh, a number of your people have uh, jumped into my business, and I was just calling to, to find out maybe what you have, if you have, is this a good time to talk? I'd like to find out what's going on with you, what's going on. Well, I said, I'll give you 10 minutes. 
he ended up talking to me for three hours. And the crux of that conversation makes up a significant part of what we're going to be talking about on Friday and Saturday. Because I got him in our business. Now, got him to, I called the company, called the CEO's secretary, I said, my name is Max Steingart, I'm a, distri- I'm a leader in Florida. I hope she didn't look at my genealogy. But I said, I've got a heavy hitter in Oklahoma that wants to learn more about the company, come to the corporate office. Can you have the CEO give him a tour? Absolutely. In fact, she called him up. She set the whole thing up. So he goes down to the company, brought a bunch of people with him. They sold him. They sold him. The upline, a top leader in your company, can sell him. But then the question typically comes up is, well, why should Terry get into business with me? Why? What do I have to offer? And believe me, this kind of action happens all the time. You tell somebody about a business, they like the business, but they don't like you. They like the business, but they don't see the value of working with you. Hey, if I'm going to get into this business, I want to work with somebody that can help me somebody that I can benefit from working with. How are you going to help me? In fact, that's exactly what Terry said to me. He started trying to weasel out of the deal. And let's face it, I mean, the company, in theory, in principle, you're supposed to do business with the person that shows you the business. Well, that concept is like fairy dust, okay? All right? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if somebody is serious about a business, they're going to shop for a sponsor. A lot of people don't get that. You know, people get into a business historically because of the products. Somebody tells them about the products. They are into the products. The products have results they get passionate about the products that's the traditional way we're talking about business builders somebody that's looking at this as a business opportunity naturally they've got to love the products they've got to become passionate about the products they've got to become products of the products or they can't build the business but they're also looking at it strictly as a business and if i'm going to get into a business Who am I going to work with? What tools do I have? How are people, who who do I have to help me? And finally, anyone at any level of experience in network marketing can recruit a whale. I got this from one of our students. Um, I landed, when Advocare went out a bit, what happened was the Federal Trade Commission said, you can still make money off of people that you directly sponsored but if you brought in a business builder all you get is what that business builder bought if you've got 5,000 people under that business builder you don't get paid for that so a lot of leaders left they went to other companies a lot of people love the Advocare products people are still taking them so I got this mess I landed three of Advocare's people One has a very large group of business people under her, as she says. The other two have businesses that have about 250 people working on building their business, each having about 800 to 900 customers. Met them on LinkedIn. Shocked that I got them. Sarah, when she was 20, actually this is an old form, when she was 20 years old, She built an organization of, it's 5,000 people in six months. I didn't know about it when it happened. She was brand new to network marketing. Seven years later, she reconnected with me. She was in a different company at 32,000 people. Over the next year and a half, teaching her team how to use social media, her 32,000 people exploded to 55,000 people. She was the fastest growing business builder in the company, 
but her growth was not enough to keep the company going. They went out of business. Cindy was the first person in my business to jump on the internet. She connected with a guy. Actually, that's basically the story. She connected with Roger, and Roger introduced me to Terry. In 90 days, she added 1,400 customers to her business. That number would grow to 3,000 people. Now, what we're going to do this weekend, and I put a link, I'll, I'll put it in there again, I want to invite all of you to participate in my two-day Top Earners Retreat. It's a two-day virtual event. We're going to share with you the online and offline secrets of network marketing millionaires. Every session is going to be recorded. Every session. Now, you're going to have the same resources in our boot camps, but we've got one extra. Our 90-day game plan. Now, this is a... Pro I didn't invent 90-day game plans. 90-day game plans have been around for years. In fact, a good friend who uh, I, I wrote a book with, uh, Burke Hedges, years ago, actually put together the first 90-day game plan. And what it is, it is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to take a person, bring them into your business from the first introduction, when you're sitting down and go over, going over helping them set up a game plan. What do they want to accomplish? When are they going to start? You're going to show them how to do it. There are accountability forms in there. And the 90-day game plan is broken down into four steps. Number one, with a 90-day game plan, you break everything down into three 30-day actions. And every 30 days, we're analyzing, we're looking at what's working, we're looking at what's not working. And step by step, there's four steps to the 90-day game plan. Preparation, so you bring your new recruit in, you get them set. You prepare them correctly to get into the business. What do they know? What do they need to know? The second part is what they call the pre-launch getting your people ready to start acting and start building the business. You know, I always used to say, tell people that my program is not rocket science. And it's not. Create, connect, communicate, and close. But when it comes to building a business, that's a totally different story. Totally different story. Preparation, pre-launch, and then the actual launch and the event. And what makes this different from most 90-day game plans is that we took into account when it comes to events, we address hotel meetings, home meetings, conferences, webinars, Facebook and LinkedIn. When we launch, there are all kinds of things that you need to know about, the importance of the buddy system. So, as part of the retreat, we include this. Every year, I invite a million-dollar earner, someone that is either a legend in their company or, in some cases, a legend in their industry. And I invite them to come in and share with our participants insider information 
that they share with their inner circle people. When they do a training at their corporate event, they don't share the information that they shared here. And there's a reason. You see, there are leaders in their company and they're competing with the other leaders. They've all got their little secrets. And so these folks have all over the years have become good friends. Um, Marjorie Alaprandi gave a training about 14 years ago when I showed her Facebook because her company had told every we're going on Facebook, we're going on Facebook. And a year ago, I was talking to Margie, we're good friends, and I said, Margie, you gotta look at LinkedIn. When I showed her LinkedIn, she went wild. Well, she came back last summer and she gave a training on three-way calls, three-way chats. She's a legend in the industry. We, were, we also have the training she gave at, at Eric Worre's Most Powerful Women in Network Marketing event. We have the PowerPoint that she used. Uh, our last leader to participate was Jim McCune, who is a corporate director in his company. And I have to tell you, I've got a leader, a good friend, who has helped over 60 people become million dollar earners in four different companies. He's got a great story and he's gonna be our top earner in our upcoming retreat. We have books that we recommend, personal development. How to argue and win every time this is a book you gotta have. Okay, even if you don't participate in the retreat, go out and get it. You will never lose an argument with a prospect, never. So in addition to this information that you can, I say always suggest listen to one a week. Their audio files, uh, Mark Yardnell gave a training that will knock your socks off. Pat Anderson was the top woman in her company, how to get customers and how to keep them. Len Clements is the top network marketing expert. He actually serves as a witness in all kinds of lawsuits. The difference between a real deal and a scam. John Terhune, the master, one of the master distributors of Kivana, good friend, was also one of the top leaders in Amway. All kinds of great information here that's extra, okay? It's extra. You listen to these on your own. The actual event over two days starts at 10 o'clock on Friday. How to become a top earner faster. We're going to dive into the whole process. 10 secrets that are never talked about. Oh, I just gave you the secrets. But now we're going to really, we're going to dive into each one of those secrets. We're going to give you the details. Now I gave you a lot of information right here, but we're going to take it up five notches. How to connect with whales. How to find them. How to make the connection and how to bring them into your business. The four ways people make money online. You've got people that create products, you have affiliate marketers, you've got direct sellers, and then there's network marketers. How you can bring any of these four people, group people from any of these four groups into your business. How to separate the real deal from the scam and then live texting tactics that produce results, followed by how to win over people more successful than you. And we have a bonus section with some phenomenal stories on mastering the whole process. 
Then on Sunday, and every like like the others, we have a flip book where you can look at all the information. On Sunday, on Friday, nope, Saturday, how to create and maintain a million dollar mindset. You want to be a top earner? Anybody can be a top earner. You have to start thinking of yourself as a top earner. And there are some parts of this training that last uh, last uh, at the last one we added some NLP training, neuro linguistic programming, uh, give you a sense of how to set yourself up so that when you're having a bad day, you can snap your fingers and change your your state, change the way you think. Uh, Tony Robbins is a master of NLP. Um, and then the secrets to closing more sales in less time. Then we're going to actually jump in. We're going to spend an hour on the first two steps of the game plan. We're going to follow it up with the second two steps. Make sure you understand it so that you can put it to use and then how to manage, stimulate your business. The importance of systems and duplication. And then we're going to help you devise your own plan of action with goals. With goals. We're going to take stock of where you are in your company at the end of May. We're going to help you put in place actions that will enable you to rank advance in June, July, and August. 90 days. At the end of August, we're going to show you how to set goals and achieve goals. And we got September, October, November. It's another 90 days. And actually, the way 90-day game plans work is they start when you start. So in reality, the end of November, you'd be starting another 90-day game plan. So we'll give yourself a little latitude. December can be your catch-up, mop-up month. And then in January, I'm, and I, I got to tell you, for those of you that think your business slows down in the winter, your business slows down over the holidays, wrong. Your business only slows down if you slow down. You will grow your business faster. It never stops. So I put a link in there again with access to register for the 90 day game, uh, the top earner retreat. And as a bonus, you can also register for our January, uh, our uh, June top earner retreat. All right now, I'm going to end this and I'm going to share a story. Okay, when uh, a couple of years ago. I had a couple in my boot camp from Europe. They had flown to the United States. They were looking for training on social media. And uh, they spent a lot of money. They just about bought everybody's social media program. If you could think of a trainer, they bought their program. Well, they finally got around to me. They were in a boot camp. And right after the second session, they call me up and they say, man, we wish we had found you first. Okay? We want you to train us. We want you, us. We want to go back to our country. We're going to go back to Poland. We're going to do a boot camp. And we're on fire with this. So they came down to Miami. We spent three days together. And then when they left, we helped them set up a training for their team well and well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them share their story with you there I 
a lot of trainers, a lot of people who are, pretend to be the best of the best in the world to teach in this area. But you know what? I found that they are training the theory. So their students making nothing with this theory. So we were looking for somebody who can provide us step by step to have a really good result. So we started with this uh, information and training and knowledge we get from Max, from his coaching. And yeah. guess what happened? At that time we was in a different company. We we ran to, to the top of this company just in 12 months. We were the first check in, uh, in Europe. After six, after six months. After <laughs> six months, yes. Yeah. And uh, wow. something happened that we needed to change the company. We started with a brand new company three months ago. And within three months, we make a diamond in 74 days. Yes. From zero <laughs> point. Somebody can uh, put a thing. Of course, they brought their old team. No. no. We built this new team with a brand new people. All of them from Facebook. We have a 66 person from now in our front line, and we made about $300,000 in volume in the first five weeks. What I want to say is in this 12 weeks, in social media only, we built organization and we have connection with, with people, new people in this industry and it really works. We have now in 12 weeks more than 1,000 people and we have great vision of the future. And it's happened only because it works. So, Max, thank you for, for everything you are doing, not only for us, but for thousands of people like us. Now, you're all heading down the same road, okay? You know, initially, when I started to do these retreats, I did one a year. And then after we introduced our 90-day game plan, somehow it turned into two a year, and now we do one a quarter. They're all different. They're all going to provide you with new information, new strategies. We just introduced a strategy in this month's boot camp that is rocking for everybody that uses it. I put the link in the chat, and I hope to see all of you in boot camp, in the retreat. As I said, both sessions are going to be recorded. We have a number of people that will not attend the live event, but they want the information, and so they will be participating in the retreat by watching the videos. If you have team members, if you have anyone that you're building your business with, that you care about, you don't go to the top of your business by yourself. You got to build a team. Anybody that is serious about building their team needs this information. You can't go to the top of your company without it. I hope to see all of you on Friday and Saturday. Uh, until next time, best of luck in building your business. God bless. LinkedIn, Facebook, social media is the great equalizer in your business. If you're just getting started in the business, you're brand new to the industry, what we're going to teach you is going to save you a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. In fact, um, um, we've got testimonials on our website that will uh, share with you exactly how what I'm going to teach you is different. Nobody else teaches this, okay? And there's a lot of reasons why. If you're serious about building your business, I got to tell you something. I am, you'll never meet anybody that is more passionate about network marketing than I am. But you have to know the rules. You have to know how the game is played. And when you know how the, what the rules are and how the game is played, 
Nothing can stop you from going to the top of your business.